welcome back to my channel miss medicine today we will discuss about surgical instruments of otolaryngology or ent so let's start it thudicum nasal speculum it is a self attaining nasal speculum it held over the hooked index finger of the non dominant hand the blades are then closed by pressing between middle and ring finger its uses diagnostic use anterior rhinoscopy nasal septum littles area and lateral wall of nose nasal cavity therapeutic uses removal of foreign bodies enteral wash nasal packing surgical procedures inside the nose next instrument kilian long bladed nasal speculum this is a self retaining nasal speculum and is available with blades of different sizes the distance between the blades can be adjusted and fixed with a screw diagnostic uses anterior rhinoscopy nasal septum littles area lateral wall of nose and nasal cavity therapeutic uses removal of foreign bodies enteral wash nasal packing surgical procedures inside the nose like polypectomy smr and septoplast next instrument clear thompson posterior rhinoscopy mirror this instrument has a bayonet shaped handle hence differs from indirect laryngoscopy mirror so that the examiner's hand does not block his vision the mirror is available in sizes of 0 to 5 and should be an appropriate size so as to pass behind soft palate and to reflect sufficient light for the image to be seen this is a plain mirror and does not magnify the image the mirror surface is either heated or dipped in savlon or touched against oral mucosa in order to prevent fogging during the procedure the tongue is depressed gently with the tongue depressor and this mirror is introduced inside like a pen with the mirror facing upwards it's uses posterior rhinoscopy and to examine the post nasal space after adenoidectomy to look for remnants next instrument indirect laryngoscopy mirror it's uses for examination of tongue base vellicula glossa epiglottic fold pharyngeo epiglottic fold arytenoids ary epiglottic folds ventricular bands vocal cords interarytenoid region pyriform fossae and posterior pharyngeal wall these regions can be examined for any foreign body inflammatory non inflammatory traumatic or neoplastic lesions to remove small foreign bodies like fish bone to remove tissue for histopathological examination this instrument has a handle shaft and a plain mirror at an angle the focal length of this mirror is at infinity the mirror is available in various sizes ranging from 8 mm to 30 mm the tongue is held with a dry gauze piece with the left hand the handle of the mirror is held like a pen the patient is asked to breathe through the mouth the patient is asked to phonate e for observing vocal cords adduction and is asked to breathe gently for observing vocal cords abduction indirect laryngoscopy structures not seen in the procedure post cricoid region apex of pyriform fossa ventricles under surface of vocal cords and adjoining subglottic region laryngeal surface of epiglottis pitfalls of indirect laryngoscopic examination there is anterior and posterior reversal of structures in the mirror image overhanging of epiglottis may obscure vision the anterior commissure is poorly visualized depth perception is poor the procedure is difficult in children 
the tongue may arise on phonation and may obscure the view of larynx the procedure is difficult in a person with short neck the vocal cords appear short and flat in the mirror the vocal cords appear white due to reflection of a great amount of light to the mirror from the vocal cords than the rest of the larynx next instrument tele antral harpoon it is an instrument used to make an opening in the medial wall of the maxillary antrum the puncture is made just below the genu of the inferior turbinate where the bone is thinnest it is held like a dagger in one hand and the index and thumb of the other hand are used for an adequate fulcrum it has one antegrade pointing tip and three retrograde pointing tips while the instrument is removed a piece of bone could come out thereby enlarge the antrostom its use is internal antrostomy for the drainage of chronic maxillary sinusitis and is used as an adjunct procedure during caldwell luke surgery next instrument tele antral bull this instrument is used to smoothen the margins of the intranasal antrostoma next instrument mild naso antral perforator this instrument has an anti grade and retrograde cutting edge it is used to enlarge the antrostomy opening created by antral harpoon widening the opening posteriorly is to be avoided to prevent bleeding from sphenopalatine artery and its branches next instrument higginson syringe it has bulb with red rubber tubing on either side one end of the rubber tubing ends in a valve and the other ends in a nozzle the valve allows only inflow of water into the bulb and the valve end is kept in water and the nozzle end is connected to the antral wash cannula the capacity of the bulb is about 50 ml and the syringe is made up to red rubber material its uses for antral wash and it use for nasal douching in atrophic rhinitis next instrument tele lichwitz troker and cannula procedure of antral puncture the antral puncture is done in the inferior meatus 1 cm behind the anterior end of inferior turbinate the troker and cannula is directed towards the outer cathus of ipsilateral eye the troker is not withdrawn from the cannula the valve end of Hinson syringe is dipped in the warm water the bulb is squeezed and the sinus is irrigated with water after connecting the syringe to the cannula the patient is advised to breathe through the mouth its parts handle with long pointed end cannula with connecting end for irrigation its uses diagnostic proof puncture to obtain aspirate of the maxillary sinus for analysis and it used to drain pus in maxillary sinusitis it used for installation of medicine into maxillary antrum and it is used for oroantral fistula next instrument nasal chisel and osteotome nasal chisel is beveling on one side used for chiseling pieces of bone cannot cut deep into a bone nasal chisel used to make bony cuts during lateral rhinotomy maxillectomy and mandibulectomy holmgren self retaining oral speculum with screw to mark in with full splits 
rosen with half split you can see difference in this picture next instrument tuning fork the tuning fork is struck at the junction of upper one third and lower two third of the prongs the vibrating tuning fork with the prongs in the acoustic axis is placed at a distance of 2.5 cm from the auricle for air conduction the vibrating tuning fork is then placed with the base touching the mastoid process for bone conduction it is available in various 128 256 512 and 1024 frequencies the 512 frequency hertz tuning forks is commonly used for the following reasons it is present in the mild speech frequency range overtones are minimal sound is more auditory than tactile in nature and tone decay is optimal tuning fork parts two prongs shoulder stem and base types two types of tuning fork hartman tuning fork and gardiner tuning fork it used to detect the type of hearing loss and to used to make an approximate estimate the degree of hearing loss next instrument bellinger's weevil knife this is a knife that can rotate 360 degrees within its two prongs hence it can be positioned without rotating the instrument and the direction can be changed this instrument is used in some mucosa resection of septum and also to harvest cartilage for rhinoplasty and tympanoplasty next instrument zenkin mastoid gauze a gauze is an instrument with a curved rounded tip that has smooth beveling hence it cuts bone in a circular pattern it is held at an acute angle to the bone for cutting and a mallet is used for hitting on it the gauze has been replaced by the electrical drill in the present day it uses it used to remove hard bone during mastoidectomy and it used in the cardwell luke operation it used for the excision of exostosis in external auditory canal eac next instrument hat mallet this instrument appears like a hammer and is used along with a gauze chisel or osteotome the gauze is used to be hit by a mallet with movement at the wrist during septal surgery next instrument lampoid mastoid curette you it is used to curate chunks of bone from mastoid and ear canal during ear surgeries like tympanoplasty mastoid exploration or stepectomy it can be used to remove granulation tissue and cholestatoma next instrument oral speculum uses of oral speculum examination of the external ear canal and tympanic membrane it remove wax fern body otomycosis or ear discharge it use in operative procedures like meningotomy meningoplasty stepedectomy and stepedectomy it used for transcanal injections There are several types of oral speculum Holmgren adjustable oral speculum Hartman oral speculum Rosen oral speculum She oral speculum and Tumarkin oral speculum Holmgren adjustable oral speculum is self retaining adjustable oral speculum with a screw it used for examination of ear and ear surgeries hartman oral speculum this is a funnel shaped speculum 
that has no slit on the body the bo- the broader end is thickened for better grip rosen oral speculum this is an oral speculum with an incomplete slit on its body the slit is useful for injections on the external canal wall with the speculum in place she oral speculum this oral speculum resembles hartman oral speculum the narrow end of this speculum is bevelled to marking oral speculum this oral speculum has a complete split on its body to facilitate intra oral injections into the external canals don't confuse with all oral speculums these are the oral speculums you can see in this picture hartman oral speculum she oral speculum rosen oral speculum holmgren self retaining oral speculum next instrument jensen bone nibbler it is used to nibble bone spicules and fragments during maxillotomy lateral rhinotomy and caldwell luke operation next instrument carison double action bone nibbling forceps it is used to remove spicules of bone in surgeries like caldwell luke operation lenick howard operation and maxillectomy next instrument ask septal forceps and valsam forceps ask forceps are angled blade have no rubber tube on the tip gap seen between prongs on approximation and it used to elevate and straighten the septum stout valsham forceps are straight blades rubber tube on one tip to protect skin no gap seen on approximation valsham forceps used to refracture and realign the nasal bones and it is smaller in size next instrument hayman turbinectomy scissor this instrument is bent obtusely at the center and has narrow blades with blunt tip and works in the vertical plane it used as a partial or total turbinectomy and can be used to cut the cartilage in septal surgeries uses of stitchian tube catheter it used to test the patiency of stitchian tube it is used to inflate the middle ear it used to instill medications in the middle ear it's used to remove foreign bodies from the nose and it's used as a suction cannula also next instrument ear vectis with cerumen spud this instrument is used to remove wax and foreign bodies from the ear one end of this instrument has a ring vectis while the other end has a blunt curette you can see in this picture tilly oral forceps is used for introduction of medicated plagets for local anesthesia in the nasal cavity it used for the removal of foreign body crust debris in the nose and ear next instrument dennis brown tonsil holding forceps it is used to hold the tonsil and pull it medially during the process of dissection this instrument resembles luke forceps but differs from it in the following the edges of the jaw are blunt and do not cut tissues the upper jaw is smaller than the lower jaw the tip has a box mechanism next instrument luke forceps this forceps has a screw joint and has a fenestrated tip with sharp blades next instrument luke micro ear knife meningotom this is a bayonet shaped meningotom available in various sizes for adults and children next instrument 
Otoscope with pneumatic attachment. It is a handheld battery operated instrument used to visualize the external auditory canal, tympanic membrane and the middle ear through the tympanic perforation. It has a convex lens which gives a magnification of two times. It has a fiber optic light conveyance system for delivery of light to the oral speculum that is available in different sizes. Some of the otoscopes have a provision for attachment of pneumatic speculum for signalization. Pneumatic attachment used for checking the mobility of the tympanic membrane can also be used for fistula test. Next instrument, Simpson's oral syringe. It is a metallic syringe with a nostril pistol inside a cylindrical body and a handle. It used to remove softened wax to remove non-hygroscopic foreign body and small hygroscopic foreign bodies. Its contraindications It perforated into the tympanic membrane, arteries externa, cyberspinal fluid autoria, large hygroscopic foreign body and atrophic or thinned out tympanic membrane. Next instrument Mollison self-retaining Hemostatic mastoid retractor. This is a self retaining mastoid retractor with four prongs on either blade. Besides retracting the tissue and fascia from the field of operation, it can also secure hemostasis by compressing the vessels. Its uses it used for harvesting temporalis fascia, for mastoidectomy, tympanoplasty. And it used in head and neck surgeries like tracheostomy and laryngeo fissure. Next instrument, Cawthorn Micro Ear Straight Peak. This is a sharp straight instrument. It used to clear granulation tissue and tympanosclerotic plaques in the mastoid and middle ear. It used to spread the graft during tympanoplasty. And it used to freshen the margins of tympanic perforation. Next instrument, plaster flag knife. This is a micro ear instrument used mainly to make a horizontal incision on the external canal wall skin during elevation of tympanomiatal flap. It is also used to elevate tympanomiatal flap. Hence used in the middle ear surgeries like meningoplasty, tympanoplasty and osculoplasty. Next instrument, Rosen Micro Ear Round Circular Knife. It is a micro ear instrument that has a sharp spade like rounded tip. The upper surface of the spade tip might be serrated for roughening the under surface of the remnant tympanic membrane. This spade tip might also have small vents to permit suction. The tip is bent at an angle of 120 degree to the shaft. It uses Rosen micro ear round circular knife used for external canal skin tympanomiatal incision. It is used for elevation of tympanomiatal flap during meningoplasty and tympanoplasty. It used for freshening the margins and undersurface of the perforation during meningoplasty and tympanoplasty. It used to break middle ear adhesions, especially between handle of mealies and promontory as in case of atelectasis. It used to clear granulation tissue and cholesteoma in certain hidden areas of the middle ear like facial recess and sinus tympani. Next instrument, alligator or crocodile forceps. This instrument is available as straight, downturned, upturned forceps. You can see in this image, also known as crocodile forceps. If tip has cups, teeth or scissors, then they are known as Wallstein cupped or toothed alligator forceps and micro ear scissors. Its uses alligator used to hold graft materials like temporalis fascia and transfer it from one place to another. Crocodile forceps or alligator 
used to hold and transfer gel foam and cotton pledgets. It used to hold and transfer ossicles, teflon, piston, grommet or torp or pulp. It used the upturned and downward types are used to reach crevices and inaccessible areas in the middle ear and mastoid. It used for foreign body removal, oral packing and nasal packing. Next instrument, Doyen mouth gag. It is a self-retaining mouth gag used to open the mouth by anchoring on the teeth. It used for galactomy, soft palate and floor of the mouth surgery. It used in tongue tie release. It used in the dental surgery. It used excision of renula, benign tumors, cyst and calculus. It used in unconscious patients to open the mouth and prevent airway obstruction. It used in Caldwell Luke operation. Next operation Ferguson Ackland mouth gag. This is a self retaining mouth gag similar to Doyen mouth gag. However, the mechanism by which this gag remains open is different. Next instrument Boil Davis mouth gag with tongue blade. It has two components, boil blade and Davis tag that are used simultaneously. It helps to keep the mouth open and push the tongue up and away from the operation site. Upper tooth plate has small holes to which a rubber tube is sutured to prevent trauma to the incisor tooth. The mouth gag is introduced in the closed position after opening the mouth with the head extended. The mouth gag is gradually opened and the wretch lock makes itself retaining. The whole assembly can be lifted up and maintained in that position using draffin bipods. Indications of Boyle Davis mouth gag with tongue blade. Tonsillectomy, adenoidectomy, surgeries of palate and nasopharynx and excision of coanal polyp. Next instrument, draffin bipods. It consists of two rods with multiple rings in a row used to anchor and fix the boil davis mouth gag for numerous oropharyngeal surgeries including adenotonsillectomy. Next instrument, clear Thompson adenoid curate with case. This instrument is used to curate the adenoids by a blind technique. The curette is introduced behind the soft palate with blade facing down. It is held like a dagger and the adenoid is curated from the nasopharyngeal wall in the midline by sweeping movement. The cage is used to prevent slipping of the excised tissue into the throat. During the procedure, the neck of the patient should not be in too much extension as it might injure the atlanto occipital joint. Next instrument, Colver tonsillar valsalum forceps. This instrument is also used to hold the upper pole of tonsils to pull it medially prior to dissection. It is specially useful where the tonsil is friable and the grip cannot be changed. Next instrument, Mollison tonsillar blunt dissector and anterior pillar retractor. It has a blunt end used for initial non-traumatic dissection of the tonsil. The retracting end is used to retract the anterior pillar to look for bleeding points and tags of tonsillar tissue left behind. Next instrument, Eve tonsillar snare. The snare has a stainless steel wire which is usually 3 inches long with a thickness of 28 goes. It used to snare the lower pole of the tonsil after dissection. The lower pole is crushed on snaring and thromboplastin is released which is powerful vasoconstrictor. Next instrument, Bicket straight first artery forceps. 
This is used to catch bleeding points in the tonsillar fossa after tonsillectomy. It is replaced by Nagus second artery forceps underneath the first artery forceps before ligation. Next instrument Nagus second curved artery forceps. It has a curved tip is used after the first artery forceps for ligating blood vessels in a deep site. Next instrument Nagus knot tire and ligature pusher or carrier. It is used to push the ligature loop on the Nagux second artery forceps to ligate the bleeding point. Next instrument Vo tenaculum forceps. It used in tonsillectomy. The single tooth of the forceps is used to incise the anterior pillar. It can also be used for the dissection of tonsil from its bed and also as a swab holder. There is a stud in one of the arms that can be felt through a vent in the opposite arm. This is useful to note the pressure exerted at the tip. Next instrument, Yankor suction tube. It is a long bent instrument with a stout handle. The tip of the tube has a rounded blunt cap with small holes. This prevents trauma to the dissection field. The bent tube enables the surgeon to visualize the dissection field better. The multiple openings in the tip of suction tube will facilitate suction even if the main opening is blocked. This instrument is used for all oral and oropharyngeal surgeries, including adenotonsillectomy, besides maxillectomy, laryngectomy, and other neck surgeries. Next instrument, needle holder. It has two blades and a long handle with finger grip and a ratchet. The ratio of length of handle to blade is 4 ratio 1. The blade has criss-cross serrations or groove on the inner aspect to grip the needle. Next instrument, hemostatic artery forceps. This forceps is available in various sizes and may be straight or gently curved. The inner surface of the tip is transfer serrated for better grip. There is also a ratchet for locking. Next instrument, Lister sinus forceps. It is a forceps resembling artery forceps but has no ratchet. The inner surfaces of the blades are serrated and the tip is blunt. It is mainly used for draining an abscess by breaking the loculi inside after making an incision. Next instrument, Tilly oral forceps. Serrations only at the tip of the blades. It can also be used in the nose. Uses of Tilly oral forceps. It used for packing or unpacking the ear canal or mastoid cavity. Tilly oral forceps used for delivery of medicated dressings into the ear canal. Next instrument, Politzer meningotom. It is an instrument used to make an incision on the tympanic membrane for serous otitis media or unresolved acute otitis media. The incision may be in the anterior inferior quadrant for serous otitis media or posterior inferior quadrant for acute otitis media. The incision is radial for serous otitis media and circumferential for acute otitis media. I would like to repeat again. Anterior inferior quadrant for serous otitis media, posterior inferior quadrant for acute otitis media and radial for serous otitis media and circumferential for acute otitis media. Ventilation tube may be inserted on the incision if required in serous otitis media. Next instrument, Luke forceps. This forceps has a screw joint and has a fenestrated tip with sharp blades that grasp the tissue and cut it. Hence, this forceps is suitable for biopsy of various soft tissues and delicate bones. It used 
in septoplasty for removal of cartilage and bone luke forceps used for polypectomy and caldwell luke operation it used for edge biopsy from oral cavity and oropharynx and luke forceps used for tubentectomy turbinectomy next instrument magill forceps magill forceps parts are grip rings stock and fenestrated blades magill forceps uses are it used to pass endotracheal tube it used for difficult cases of rails tube insertion it used to remove foreign body from pharynx and it used for throat packing magill forceps is an angulated forceps commonly used to orient and guide the endotracheal tube into the larynx this angulation is done in order to prevent the obstruction to the view of the surgeon next instrument lac tongue depressor it has a flat end and a slightly curved end the flat end is placed over the anterior two third of the tongue to depress it the posterior one third should not be touched in the order to prevent gag reflex lac tongue depressor uses examination of oral cavity and oropharynx lac tongue depressor used to retract lips and cheek it used to express pus out of the tonsil septic squeeze test lac tongue depressor used to test gag reflex it used for cold spatula test to check patency of nasal passage lac tongue depressor used for posterior rhinoscopy and is used for oral cavity procedures like injection of steroids biopsy excision of cyst next instrument clear thompson quincy forceps it is a bayonet shaped instrument with a sharp trocar tip it has a guard at some distance from tip to prevent deep entry for draining quincy sharp tip is pierced with the forceps closed the instrument is then opened like a sinus forceps to drain the abscess next instrument collin tongue holding forceps this is an instrument used to hold the tongue firmly without injuring it it has ratchet to lock and works like an artery forceps it is used in surgeries on the tongue like hemigolosectomy tongue tie release and excision of lingual thyroid next instrument yankor nasopharyngoscope this is an instrument used to examine the nasopharynx with the patient in the supine position and the head extended the instrument is inserted under the soft palate and can be used to examine the nasopharynx as well as to take biopsies from the region next instrument rigid bronchoscope this is a hollow rigid tube with a beveled end the adult bronchoscope is about 40 to 45 cm long it has vents on the side for ventilation of the other bronchus when they remain above the level of carina when inserted into the major bronchus and hence differs from esophagoscope it used diagnostic rigid bronchoscope used for examination of tracheobronchial tree for pathology growth ulcer strictures etc rigid bronchoscope used for biopsy from a suspicious growth or ulcer it also used for bronchial lavage from secretions it used for bronchography and it used for autofluorescence and photodynamic diagnosis therapeutic uses of rigid bronchoscope for foreign body removal rigid bronchoscope used for tracheobronchial stenting it used for aspiration of secretions and it used for removal of tumors next instrument adult rigid esophagoscope 
It is a long rigid hollow tube of 40 to 45 centimeter length and 16 to 20 millimeter diameter. It is available as Nagus and Jackson type. The Nagus type generally has double proximal illumination, tapers distally and has markings on it. The Jackson type has single distal illumination and has no markings and does not taper distally. In distal illumination, the light can get fogged due to proximity to the distal end. Parts of adult rigid esophagoscope. First handle, second eyepiece, you can say proximal end, third body or shaft, fourth light carrier and fifth distal opening. Uses of adult rigid esophagoscope. Diagnostic uses. It used for malignancy. It used for foreign body examination. It used for cardiospasm. It used for tracheoesophageal fistula. And at last, it used for strictures. Therapeutic uses of adult rigid esophagoscope. It used for removal of foreign body. It used to guide boogies through esophageal strictures. It used for esophageal stenting. And it, and it used for sclerosing agent injection into esophageal varices. Next instrument, direct laryngoscope. This is a U-shaped instrument made up of German silver. It used a rigid fiber optic light carrier for illumination. The position of the structures is not changed unlike indirect laryngoscopy and there is no magnification. Based on the type of illumination, there are two types, Jackson and Nagos. You can see in this table, uses of direct laryngoscope. For examination of larynx, hypopharynx, cricopharynx and upper esophagus, Direct laryngoscope used for removal of foreign bodies from the above reasons. Direct laryngoscope used for biopsy from tumors. It used for excision of tumors or nodules from the glottis or supraglottis. Direct laryngoscope used to assess the extent of laryngeal growth before laryngectomy. Next instrument, Troze tracheal dilator. It is an instrument used to dilate the tracheostoma during or after the tracheostomy to insert the tracheostomy tube. It also is an introduction of the tracheostomy tube and prevents formation of a false passage. Next instrument, fuller bivalved tracheostomy tube. This is a metallic tracheostomy tube and has an inner tube that is longer than the biflanked outer tube. This prevents the outer tube from getting blocked by secretions. The inner tube can easily be removed for cleaning. Also, the posterior wall of the inner tube has an opening that permits the patient to breathe through the nose and phonate. The two flanks of the outer tube can be compressed for initial introduction into the tract. The compressed flanges of the outer tube hold the inner tube in place and prevent it from getting cuffed out. Hence, a lock system is not required in this tube. Parts of fuller bivalved tracheostomy tube are biflanked outer tube, collar present to tie ropes. Second, inner tube has two circular rings to grasp, remove and insert the tube. Disadvantages of fuller bivalved tracheostomy tube. The tip of the flanges can injure the tracheal wall. Second disadvantage, flanges can break after long use and present as foreign bodies. Third disadvantage, there is a risk of granulation tissue formation. Next instrument, Jackson tracheostomy tube. Parts of Jackson tracheostomy tube are inner tube, outer tube, contains a collar and a locking mechanism. And third, 
pilot obturator disadvantages of jackson tracheostomy tube phonation is not possible second disadvantage of jackson tracheostomy tube the patience of the natural air passage cannot be checked by blocking the tube and last there is a risk of granulation tissue formation there is a pilot for introducing the tube into the trachea so that injury is not caused to the posterior wall the french gauze is three times the outer diameter of the tube this french gauze system is commonly followed for identifying the number of metals tracheostomy tube next instrument non metallic portex tracheostomy tubes versus metallic ones advantages of portex tubes portex tubes made up of soft materials hence less damaging to the tracheal wall since it has a cuff it is particularly useful for intensive care unit patients portex tube useful during radiotherapy it has a blue radio pack line all along the tube for radiological detection of the site of the tube now disadvantages of the portex tube cleaning the tube is more difficult requires removal disadvantage of portex portex tracheostomy phonation not possible usually checking the patience of natural air passage is not possible and cuff might injure the tracheal wall tracheal necrosis if over inflated and left for a long period of time pressure should be preferably less than 30 mm of mercury next instrument head mirror it consists of plastic headband to which is attached adjustable concave mirror with a central hole the diameter of the mirror is 9 cm while that of the central aperture is 2 cm focal length of the mirror is 18 cm when parallel rays of light from bull's lamp impinge on the concave mirror the light rays converge at focal point of the mirror the advantage of wearing this head mirror is that it keeps both hands free for procedures however the head has to be kept fixed and cannot be moved to any position like the headlight next instrument bull's lamp this consists of metal box with vents within which is kept a 100 volt bulb the light rays come out through a central opening this opening has a biconvex lens of approximately 30 to 40 cm focal length the lamp is placed 30 cm behind the left ear of the patient the lamp can be adjusted to focus the rays on the head mirror next instrument next instrument bald parker handle it used to attach blades of various numbers for surgical incisions it commonly used blades are number 10 11 12 and 15 number 12 blade may be used for tonsillectomy thank you for watching